Hi, this is Catholic Ben. So today I'd like to talk about number four of my, you know, nine realizations that I came to through the Exodus 90 experience. But actually what I'm going to talk right now about right now is the most important thing ever. And it's a memory that I have of my morning meditation one Saturday morning. Obviously that morning I didn't get up early enough to have a quiet time in my meditation in a quiet house. So by the time I'd gotten to do this, my kids were up, my wife was up, and I was trying to concentrate, but the noises from the other rooms were too loud. And I was always trying, I was, you know, getting really nervous about that. But then I said, hey God, you know, like everything that I have, all of my family that I w live with, you know, they are yours and I am yours and I'm so happy I have them. Uh, thanks for all of this you know and in that instant my wife comes in and she says hey I need you to take care of the little one for a while so in that feeling I watch him crawling on the floor and I felt just so much love for him and so much gratitude for my beautiful three daughters and for my wife and it was that very second that struck me you know and God made me feel inside he said you see how incredibly you know how much you love these guys how much you love your family well this is only a very very vague approximation of how much I love you he loves me and I felt that within me I felt that very very strongly I know I've talked about this before but I'm talking about it again and I'm not gonna stop talking about it because you know the Bible verse the most famous one John 3 16 where it says you know for God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life that's what the Bible verse says but that the world can sound so um, distant you know it's so everybody it's also me specifically God so loved me and until you have this personal experience this literally experience of God's you know touching your heart and touching you on the deepest level and telling you I love you telling you I love you until then you cannot understand this whole faith thing at all you know, there's just rules and regulations, there's just scandals, there's sex abuse scandals, there's the money issues, there's, you know, the issues of priests not behaving in the way that they should behave, there's the issue of me not behaving the way I should behave, and probably you as well. And when you do behave, you know, you, you become obnoxious, you become self, you become, you know, judging of others. And you're a hypocrite, like so many people tell us that we are. And we are. Whenever we try to live this Christian thing, Christian life, without this vivid experience of God's love, it's all fake and we cannot fake this. It, it has to be real or it's, it's, it's stupid. It's for nothing. So, yes, all of my ex Exodus uh, things would have been nothing without this very, very... A uh, vivid experience of how God truly loves me and that keeps me going you know and I want to have as many of those experiences as I can but I cannot always rely on them but that's that's a different topic for another video um, I'm glad you're following this uh, vlog please do subscribe uh, like it share it and have a blessed blessed weekend and yes, go to Holy Mass on Sunday if you can. Uh, I mean, if you can, just go. <laughs> just find a way to go. And also, um, if you can, get on your knees someday and have a little bit of quiet time with God and, you know, ask Him, hey, can you please show me like you did that Ben guy <laughs> from Slovenia, show me how much you love me. Okay, we'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye.